What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we are talking about the things that you want to have to build a solid EDC. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it, everyone. It really helps push the video out there so more people get to check it out. And feel free to let me know down in the comments what is your EDC for the day. So we're going to do a lot of talking in this video and we'll, we'll get to some demonstration stuff as well. So sit back and relax. This is going to apply ma a majority to the, the newcomer to the EDC, the knife world, but it's going to apply to everyone as well. Something, you know, that you can kind of bookmark and, you know, maybe you've been around for a while, but you've only been in a certain area of the EDC world. Maybe you've just been in the knives, but you're looking to maybe get into something else or what have you. We're just going to kind of talk around everything. Now the centerpiece to an EDC is going to be your knife. That's the centerpiece to the entire display. Now, backtrack a little bit. What is EDC in case you're extremely new? EDC is an abbreviation for everyday carry. The items that you're going to keep on you depend on uh, things that might come in handy when you leave your house. Most people, their keys, their cell phone, their wallets. That's going to be a normal person who hasn't been woken up, so to speak. That's going to be their EDC. But the people who start to kind of wake up and realize it's not a bad idea to have a couple of things on hand that are going to help you through certain situations. You know, all the way from just maybe cutting up your lunch to defending your life or whatever it may be. But there's a wide array of things that you can keep with you, whether they're on your body or maybe a secondary carry, as I call it, like in a sling bag or a backpack or something like that. Uh, there's a wide array of items that you can keep with you. The main one is going to be your folding knife. Now, when I say what you want to have with you and what you need to have, those are two different things. This video is going to be based on what you want to have with you in order to have a solid EDC. Need is, you know, need is when it comes to EDC is hard to touch on because you could make a case that you don't need anything right or you don't need a whole lot but that's not what we're trying to do we're not trying to we're trying to fulfill a entire edc here of want uh you know quality things that are going to get the job done and cover a variety of bases for you now we're going to keep it as simplistic as possible though on top of that so not necessarily as little as possible but keep the items as minimal as possible to develop that very solid EDC. So the first item is going to be a pocket knife. Now I just have a couple of things sitting out here today. Uh, things that are going to be a want more than a need. Something in this price range right here is definitely a want. You don't need to have something like this. And that's where this video is going to cross sect a little bit. What you want to have is a solid knife that is affordable. If you are just getting into the EDC world, there is no need these days, unless you are just flooded with cash, uh, then you, by all means, jump up as high as you want. But for everyone else, uh, that's living here on earth You're going to want a solid knife that's affordable and this being the closest one here uh, Like I said, we're not really going to do a whole lot of uh, Show and tell we're going to do some but not a whole lot It's mainly going to be a talk through walk through and we'll start doing a few more of these maybe once a week or something uh, just kind of a talking point video, but Get yourself a solid knife 
that's going to be dependable, that's well made, and there's tons of them out there. I feature a lot of them on the channel every single day. You know, I release a couple of videos, so there's plenty on this channel to, you know, kind of skim through and look at. But just in particular here, this knife, it retails for 65 bucks. You're going to be getting a very solid steel in Nitro V, a beautiful blade shape that's going to cover a ton of different territory. Uh, that drop point blade, that profile is going to get a lot of stuff done uh, all the way from preparing your lunch to, you know, if need be, at, you know, last ditch effort, self-defense. Uh, because of the way this blade shape is designed. You have dull thumb studs here for the deployment, which these can be used in a slow roll manner, or you can flick the hell out of this thing if you prefer. The real steel sylph here is an awesome, awesome EDC knife coming in at a very, very good price point. And this also is an integral, so... It's going to be very solid, very strong, built very well because that is one solid piece of steel that's been folded around and it's going to make this extremely rigid, but it's also going to be very comfortable because you don't have the spine of the knife to worry about when it comes to the back of your hand. It's going to be very comfortable. We have a very nice pocket clip here. It's been partially recessed. The screw is recessed. You have good access to the liner here. Uh, and I do have a coupon code for this knife down in the description, which takes it down to like $50. So that's an even better price point, you know, than the $65. Uh, and this can be reversed, so a lefty can carry it as well. So do you need to have a knife that's two, three, four hundred dollars to get a good knife? No, you don't. You can get very high quality knives that come in around the you know fifty, sixty dollar price point, even less, but just to be safe and you know get something that's legitimately very well done. Uh, you know the sixty dollar price point, fifty to seventy five is going to be a good price point. That's not you know, going too crazy where you can get an extremely solid knife that is definitely going to be, you know, dependable. And I could bring out, you know, a hundred knives in that price range right now and, you know, show them to you guys. But there's plenty of them out there. I have plenty of videos on knives just like that. All kinds of different list videos. Uh, so there's plenty of knives out there like that. So that's going to cover you for your, your main centerpiece to your EDC to keep things solid. So very affordable, right? So that is going to kind of be the first and foremost. So what's going to be second here, right? That's going to be, in my opinion, a flashlight. So we are going to get to some other items, but... We're going to stick with the flashlight as being, my, in my opinion, the second item that's going to be, you know, something that's going to help you round out and make a solid EDC. So this is the Rovivon A8 here, the fourth generation version. Uh, you can hook this on keys. You can hook this on your pocket. You can take the clip off if you want. It's got a lot of different features. Uh, it has lights in the body white, red, uh, it, it does a lot of different stuff. And these are going to be very affordable. All the items we're going to try and keep the price down as low as possible, but still maintain good quality. And, you know, these can be had as low as like in the 30s, but they can go up to like 50. So it's going to kind of depend, but, you know, that's not a ton of money for a flashlight. It might sound like it, maybe, uh, but it's really not. You know, to get something that's going to be dependable and solid, you're going to want to stick to a certain price point. And, you know, I think if you can get something 50 to $75, yet again, you're going to be in a good area where you're going to get something that is going to hold up and do well. Now, that is a rechargeable variation right there. 
Now let's say you don't want something with a clip. Uh, you just want something you can drop down in your pocket. This uh, Lumen Top GT Nano has really caught me off guard as to how good of a light this thing is. Uh, it's got a beautiful light to it. Very small and compact, but really, really throws out a nice little beam. It's got a few different settings, low, medium, high, and it has a turbo mode, and it can put out some nice power. Now, this is using a rechargeable style battery. This is an aluminum housing here, built very well. And these are going to come in at a good price point as well, under that $50 mark. And I do have a link that'll take you to Flashlight Go, which is a flashlight retailer, among many other things. And I have a coupon code there as well that'll take 10% off any flashlight in their store. And both of these, I, I know the Nano is, and I believe the Roe Vivon is as well, uh, that those are both there. Now, if you're looking for more of a, a handheld light that's a little bit bigger, more options, then this Trustfire Mini X3 here has really been a pleasant surprise. This has a green laser. This also has, let's see, this has a main light here which is really, really nice as well. Got several settings. And then it also has a body light as well, which also has three different settings. And then there's also a black light or a UV light built into this thing. This thing is full of features, USB-C rechargeable. It's got a nice pocket clip on it. Now you can either put it on the bill of a hat or you can dump it down in your pocket or you can take it off altogether and you can rock it by just dumping it down in your pocket, whatever you kind of prefer. So there's a couple of different, uh, and it's got a magnetic base. I forgot to say it must have, must have wanted you guys to know that. So there's a couple of different options uh, that are coming in at great, great price points. I'll link what I can down below that we go over here now. So we have the knife, the flashlight, what's going to be kind of the next step? Well, we're going to talk about just one item in particular that everyone carries, that's a, a male at least. Uh, we're going to talk about the wallet. Now, this is a new wallet that just came in. This is going to be a very affordable wallet as well. It's one that I, I am just now going to start testing out. It's by a company called Furid. And this is like a bifold, but it's got a lot of capabilities. It's got a cash clip here, and it also has a place to throw a card or something here. A couple cards up front there. It also has an ID badge spot and then another place for cards here. Plus, it has an automatic housing here that'll hold another 7 to 10 cards depending on the thickness of the cards. But this is going to come in under 30 bucks. I think even under 20 bucks. Uh, I'll link it down below. But that's one option there that is going to keep your wallet carry nice and minimal. You're only going to have on you what you need. And this is going to hold plenty of cards and it's just going to stay nice and compact. It's got this magnetic sleeve here. Now, if you want something that's even more minimalistic, we have two of my favorite wallets of all time here. Now, the Travax is going to be a little bit more money. Uh, this is going to be somebody who maybe starts off with something like this and ultimately decides, I want a USA-made wallet, nice and minimal, holds a couple of cards or quite a few cards, and then it has a cash clip as well. Uh, Travax is... Probably my favorite company when it comes to these type of wallets. They are definitely up there. Now, the other wallet that's going to be even more minimal than both of these is a uh, company called RefineCo. Uh, this thing is awesome. I fell in love with this wallet. It's leather. It's nice and minimal. couple spots for a couple cards there on the back end. Spot for cash or cards here. 
and then a couple of spots here for some cards and then you have a couple of tools that also come with it you have a pick there and then we have this little pry bar wrench uh flathead different you know all kinds of different stuff bottle opener uh and that's built right into the wallet comes with the wallet i'll link these down below as well but uh just a nice piece of gear that's very very minimal compared to almost anything else out there on the market so there's a couple of options when it comes to a good wallet so you got your wallet your knife and a flashlight what comes next and to keep this in mind as well as we kind of move through all of this this isn't stuff you have to this isn't building a solid edc and you got to get everything all in one trip to the store or something like that you got to get everything all at once or you can't do it no you pick up one thing you know if it takes a week or two or three till you get the next thing then so be it but this gives you an idea of how to kind of go about building what you're trying to do because you're already going to have a wallet most likely Focus on the next item. And then if you don't have, you know, if you already maybe have a good solid knife you enjoy, well then move to the next item. And then this is kind of an upgrade for what wallet you may already be carrying. Maybe you carry a trifold that's leather, bulky, big, you have a bunch of nonsense in it. Cause I used to do that myself till I realized I don't need all that crap in there that I have in there and you know, these types of wallets give you the ability to put it in your back pocket, yes, but then you can put this in a front pocket, you can drop it down in a sling bag, you know, they're very, they're much more versatile because they're so much more minimal. Now, the next item might be argued by some, I don't think so, I think it's a great idea to have a pen on you. That way, you can't duplicate these things in the field you can't duplicate a knife a cutting tool like that you can't duplicate a flashlight out of leaves and dirt and grass and you can't do that with a pen either uh, i think having a writing instrument is paramount along with some paper uh, like a notebook, a memo pad, something of that nature. But being able to write things down, whether it's for your own benefit, whether you're making uh, lists for supplies you need or groceries you need or a list of things that you need to get done or that you want to do, uh, whether it's ideas or thoughts, all the way from that side of the spectrum, all the way to it's an emergency you got to leave a note uh or a warning or whatever if you don't have that pen on you you know what are the chances one might be where you are if you're you know so it's just better to have it with you and in the case of the pen for this we're going to be basically talking about bastion those provide in my opinion some of the best bang for the buck now, some people might think $20, $30 for a pen is insane. And just to let you know, there are pens that start at $150 and go way, 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 way beyond that. And yes, we're talking about just a pen. It doesn't cook you dinner. Uh, and it, they come in a variety of materials. This one is steel and carbon fiber. This is a new offering from Bastion. They are bolt action. Uh, Bastion's a good company and they're, you know, putting a lot out there uh, for the money, um, you know, in comparison. Now, they also make an aluminum version that can be had under 30 bucks. It's a very solid uh, pen, in my opinion, which I have right here. This is the all black aluminum version, bolt action, very, very nice pen, lightweight uh, easy to carry, good pocket clip on it, and they just, you know, it just does the job. It's a great idea to have, you know, a good writing instrument on you, you know, just in that off chance that you need to make a note or you need to make a list or whatever it is. Like me, I'm writing ideas down during the day. I'm making lists and doing all kinds of things, so I always keep a pen with me. So what's the next item after the pen? And maybe even more so than the pen, I think 
the lighter. Um, maybe not going into summer so much, but I still think it holds value. Um, being able to start a fire or get a fire going is paramount in my opinion. Fire is just a key essential thing um, in certain instances. Fire is good for so many things. You might just think of a fire as a useless thing in a lot of ways, but a fire can provide you with light. A fire can provide you with warmth. It can keep certain predators and things like that at bay. It can be used for signaling. Uh, it can be used for cooking. Just a plethora of different things that fire is good for and the ability to start one i think is paramount so you know you can kind of pick and choose you can just go with a regular old bic this was a gift from a good buddy uh, so this is what i keep with me all the time uh, it was sent to me it's got the g on it so i pretty much use this uh explicitly now but uh and keep this with me you know, you can go the Zippo route, you can go the Bic route, you can go kind of whichever way you feel like, you know, you can get the electric arc lighters. That way you can charge it and, you know, throw it in your pocket each day. Say you don't have much use for a lighter, uh, you know, so you could, that would be a good route. Get one that's rechargeable like this Blackbeard here. Uh, I think this one needs charged up, but something like this. Uh, you charge this up and you get a ton of life out of these and the arc that these provide is insane uh, on how hot it is and how easy it is to get fire going with these. So that's an option uh, as well. I'll link Blackbeard down in the description as well. Uh, so I think a lighter is going to be paramount as well. So you might be asking possibly where's like the multi tools and the pry bars and bit drivers and all that type of stuff. I think those items are great to have, okay? But I don't think those types of items, unless your daily job, like, and, and even my, I'm a carpenter and I really have little use to be honest with you for a multi tool. A multi-tool to me is more something I want to have in my vehicle, in a backpack and stuff like that, where if I ha I need some pliers or a screwdriver or something like that, then I have the ability, you know, to have that in one unit. But really, it's not something I don't think, unless it you specifically, you know, your job calls for that, then you're probably already going to have one anyway. But a multi-tool and, and other things like that, I think are great for that secondary carry, uh, like in a sling bag, you know, or a backpack, something that you take with you when you leave your house, but maybe not something that's in your pocket, right? And we're going to cover that stuff in a separate video, similarly to this, uh, kind of secondary items that you want to keep with you to keep your EDC very solid. Now, the next item is going to be, in my opinion, a hank. And you can get very affordable hanks. This is a microfiber hank uh, by issuing stitches. I'll have a link and a code down there for these as well. Uh, some of the best hanks in the business with some of the best pricing. And for my viewers, they get a 10% discount off the hanks. Pennsylvania homemade in the US, uh, great, great hanks and microfiber. So you might be asking, you know, what are those good for? What do I need that for? Well, they come in handy for a couple of different things, quite a few different things. And although these are the smaller ones, the much larger ones, the uh, regular size, if you will, they're about double the size of this, tall and, you know, width wise. And they can cover quite a few different things. They can wipe glasses down. They can wipe camera screens down. They can help you, you know, clean and maintain your different various gear. You know, whether it's cleaning your knife down, cleaning it off, cleaning your flashlight lens off, wiping things down, stuff like that. And it's not a huge expense, especially at a company like Issuing Stitches. You can go get 
whether you want an EDC sized one like this that folds up extremely small and is very easy to throw in a pocket, uh, they're like 10 bucks. So I mean, not a huge expense and it's an easy way to get covered on something that's just going to possibly help you. And they, they come in handy for a lot of things. You know, I've used them when I've cut myself and I'm bleeding and I don't, I'm, you know, somewhere and I don't have bandages or anything like that. I've used them for that type of stuff. So they cover kind of a wide range of things and I think they just come in handy. It might not be an item that you're going to use every day, uh, but it could be. You know, you can definitely find uses for these uh, that you might not think, you know, wiping down your wallets, flashlights, knives, uh, your glasses, phone screens, camera screens, uh, just all kinds of different stuff. So I think having one of these kind of rounds out a primary solid carry. Now, there's one thing we're going to leave out purposefully because I'm going to be covering it in a EDC update, and that's the keys factor. Um, for a man, you know, keys, wallet, a knife, a flashlight, a pen, a lighter, and a hank, I think are kind of the, the bare essentials, the minimum that you want to have on you. Uh, you know, and most guys are going to carry a wallet already. A lot of guys are going to have a lighter on them, whether you, you know, need it or not in a sense like you don't smoke cigarettes or cigars or whatever. Some guys still keep one on them anyway. Uh, so, you know, those two items and then some guys, you know, carry a hank with them all the time as well. So really, depending on where you fall, maybe you don't have anything, you know, and you all you have is a bum wallet. Well, Keep the bum wallet for now and get yourself a solid knife. You know, if you already have maybe an El Cheapo knife, uh, you know, I could see jumping to the flashlight to get yourself, get yourself having two items, you know, technically three. And then you can choose after you get your decent flashlight to say, hey, I either want to upgrade my knife or I want to upgrade my wallet or I'm going to hang out with the crap I got right now. I'm going to go grab me a lighter or a pen and maybe a hank. And then once you cover everything, then it's time to go through and upgrade those items as we talked about. But don't, if you already have a, a wallet and maybe a bum knife, don't go out unless it's all you can get, you know, maybe wait if that's all you can get is something extremely cheap like a $10 flashlight. Maybe just wait a week or two and put that 10 bucks to the side and get another 10 or 20 and go get, you know, a decent light, you know, for like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. Uh, that way you're not repeating unnecessary steps when it comes to upgrading your items. There's always room to upgrade, trust me. You can always go through that process. But if you don't wanna you know, have that continuous revolving door of constantly upgrading, and you might find you love it and you wanna do it anyway, but for the people who may not want to do that, make your purchases smart. Uh, don't go get a bum flashlight, you know, that you didn't have. And now it's probably going to be junk and break or not work or not work for very long. Now you got, you just spent the money and now you got to go buy another one anyway. And you might as well spend the, the extra money and get the upgrade one. Now you spent extra money that you shouldn't have. So just make your purchases smart. Um, don't go out and get the first cheap thing. You know, if we're trying to build a solid EDC, there's a specific price point and specific target you want to be looking at. And if that takes time to get some money saved up to get that certain item, then so be it. But, you know, buy once and cry once. You get this knife right here, there's a good chance you will never need another one again. So that's, you know, 
a good buy. If you can buy something once and you don't need to, you know, replace it for 20, 30 years, that's a good buy. Um, and now the same can't be said for certain flashlights because the battery, internal battery is only going to last so long, like the built-in batteries. But ones with external batteries, similar to this one, you can just buy a new battery and back on you go. Uh, but that's something that can, it, and technology, you know, changes every year with flashlights. But a pen... You know, all you need is the El Cheapo refills. Once you have the housing, you know, one of the housings, all you need is the El Cheapo refills and, you know, you're back in business. Same with these rechargeable lighters can be ran for a very, very long time until they die. But a Zippo, uh, you know, all you need to do is refill this thing up and once in a great while, change the wick, change the flint, and that's very cheap and easy to do, uh, you know, to maintain your good stuff that's going to last forever. Uh, these are made out of good leather, going to last forever. And these are made out of some sort of metal, whether it's aluminum or steel, depending on the one you get, uh, going to last forever. So that's what I mean by making smart, good purchases. You know, if you're somebody who's not looking to really get, you know, to succumb to the EDC lifestyle, but you want to cover certain things, but you're not looking to be stuck in the EDC world forever. You're just looking to get some good stuff and go about your, your, your life, you know, that type of ideal. Uh, then you want to make your purchases right. You want to make them smart and you want to get good stuff at a good price. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think? down in the comments i love hearing from you guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up button i always appreciate that guys if you're new here we release edc videos just like this one every single day hit that subscribe button ring the little bell i would love to have you here otherwise guys i'll throw up a couple of new videos go check one of them out have yourself an awesome day thank you for watching catch you on the next one